<laughs> whatever. Damn it to hell, I like it so well, I just said whatever. Hey y'all, welcome to a friendly Friday's R for you on Uncle Bub's Bell Buckle Bear Views. And I got a brew for you today. It's the last of my brews for my buddy Wayne Allen, or Wayne Franklin up there in Pennsylvania. Wayne sent me a six pack of delicious, wonderful brews, and I expect this one to be that as well. Um, I saved this one for last because I had never had this brew. I had heard of it, but never had it, and I wanted to save it. Uh, it's a Yingling Premium Beer. I've never had one of these. I've had the Yingling Lager and all that kind of stuff, but this, uh, it has no information on the goofy government warning on here. That's the only kind of information it's got on it. You know, it tells you it's, it was done in Pottsville, Pennsylvania. Uh, up there in Wayne Franklin country <laughs> or close to him anyway um, Yingling is uh, America's oldest brewery uh, since 1829 y'all 18, 19, 20 that's, uh, it's, it's getting close to 200 years old this brewery that, and you know it, it withstood uh, prohibition and all that kind of stuff they have a they have a uh, <clears throat> documentary on YouTube about the Yingling Brewery, and I think I actually think that Wayne uh, tagged me in it at one point. I watched it. It's a really interesting uh, background of Yingling and and what they do there and how they how they withstood the prohibition and all that kind of stuff. Um, just kind of search for it, I guess. On or I may see if I can find a. I'll see if I can find a. a, a tag and put it in that little one of those little square boxes at the end of the video you know what i'm talking about let's see if i can find it put it on there if y'all want to watch it it's, it's pretty cool anyway <clears throat> the abv is not listed on the can that gummit uh i had to go to the website and uh, look up the abv but it's a 4.5 percent abv and it is a pilsner style brew is what it said on the website pilsner style so, Yingling Premium Beer. I saved this one for last because I wanted to. And uh, this is courtesy of my buddy Wayne up there in Pennsylvania. Thank you, Wayne. I sure do appreciate it. Let's see what this beer looks like. Ooh, look how pale it is. Ooh, look at that. Light straw gold. Look at that. Beautiful. Well, what you can see of it is mostly head. <laughs> <clears throat> and it's got, kind of got the, the Pilsner style aroma coming off of it. And we'll get a taste of that head, see if that. Is it, yeah, I can taste that. It's got a Pilsner style flavor to it. Now, it's not hardly as strong as some of the others. The, the German Pilsner I was, I've done in previous Fridays, the gift beers from Wayne. Um. <clears throat> It's, it's not got the strength of the flavor uh, of some of those German beers, but it's still, you can tell it's a Pilsner. Mm. And look at that head. That head's just lingering. Now, Wayne, I, I, I sure am uh, thankful that you sent me this beer because this is one that we can't find around here. We can get Yingling... Uh, I get uh, we I can find the Yingling and the Yingling Light and the Yingling Flight around here pretty easy, but that's about it. That's a, that's the only three that I can find by Yingling. So I, I really appreciate you sending me this so I could try it. The head's delicious. Hmm. I still got quite a bit of beer in that can there. Yingling premium beer. And the, the head tastes like it's premium too. Mm. It's delicious. It's got just a little, just a little bit of bitterness in the finish of the head. So it's not got the strength of a, of a German Pilsner, but I, it's still there. It's still there, man. Mmm. I really enjoy that bitter finish. I don't know, y'all. Y'all might think I'm weird I, because, you know, I'm, I'm typically not. I don't know. I, do y'all like bitterness in beer? I, I like the bitterness. 
and I, I'm assuming some people do because, you know, beer, beer, some beers have that bitterness to them. Now, I know people that don't like the bitterness in beer. They like beer, but they don't necessarily like the bitterness. But I, I've not had one that's been too bitter for me yet. Uh, I really enjoy it. Um, and this one's got just a little bit in the head. Now, we're fixing to try the body. I'll let that head dissipate a little bit. Pour the rest of it off in there. Yeah, there we go. Uh, <clears throat> whoops. Let it drop, get away from me there. All right, so this beautiful, bright, straw gold Yingling premium beer, Pilsner style, at a 4.5% ABV, courtesy of my buddy Wayne up there in Pennsylvania. This is for all American workers. Hey, I love and appreciate y'all. Thank you for the hard work that you do to provide for yourselves and your families, just like I do. Um, I know what it takes to make a living, and, and <clears throat> I'm an empty nester now. You know, it's just me and my wife. Well, it's been me for the past three months, but <laughs> she's in Florida helping my daughter's family, so she ain't left me or nothing. But anyway, it, as an empty nester, I, I still it's still tough to make a living. I work 12-hour days, you know? And I know what it's like, y'all. I know what it's like to make a living. You, you, I got I work with young men that have young families, and man, they're struggling. And, and nobody appreciates it, you know. Uh, the, everybody's got their hand out. Nobody nobody appreciates anything that hardworking Americans do. Uh, the backbone of the nation, you know. And, and and that goes across all spectrums. It don't matter. It don't matter your color, race, creed, whatever, religion, all that kind of stuff. The hardworking Americans is what keeps this country rolling and moving. And we're from all backgrounds. Americans, thank you, brothers and sisters, for all you do. Oh, Dad, gum it. <clears throat> Woo, that's good. That is good. Um, it it doesn't have up now. I say that. <laughs> I was kind of guzzling. <clears throat> it doesn't have much of a bitter finish in the in the body of it. It had had a little bit in the head, but the body of it doesn't have much bitterness in it. That's okay. It's still freaking delicious. Um, very easy to drink, man. I can see, gosh, dog. I wish I had this available around here, Wayne. Um, I can see getting a six pack of Tall Boys like this one right here. You know, after you get done doing yard work for the weekend or whatever, and sitting back with some of these right here, man, this is good beer. And it, it's it. When I say lawnmower beer, it makes it sound like it's you know just a cheap whatever kind of beer but that's not what I mean uh, there's a difference between cheap beer and lawnmower beer <laughs> I'll have to make a chart y'all know what I'm talking about <laughs> but this is I mean this would be so refreshing after after coming in from a hot workout or whatever this is good beer I'm gonna score it an A uh, it's just really delicious Now, it, it <clears throat> it's not as good as the German Pilsners. I mean, it's, it's just it's hard to beat the German Pilsners and the Czech the Czech Pilsners. That they're the they're the kings. The Czechs Czech Pilsners the king. Uh, the German Pilsners, you know, back it up, and then this would probably fall in the third place. The American Pilsners, um, but it's still good. All right, y'all. That's been a friendly Fridays are for you this week. Um, I'll be back tomorrow for a Saturday Suds. Thank you to my buddy Wayne. Y'all stay tuned. Take care. Cheers.